One of the most anticipated movies of 2018 hits the big screen tonight. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. Marvel's Black Panther is the first major superhero, superhero movie with a black lead character. The movie also has a black director, black writers, and a predominantly black cast. WCCO's Reg Chapman shares what that means to a community looking for positive images. That Black Panther suit, oh man, the, the geometrics, all the shapes and patterns, all the, the Africanness, and you know, it's, it's African, but it's also technological. 17 year old Damon Bryant Jr. is a comic book collector. All my life I've grown up on comics. My first comic book was actually The Amazing Spider Man issue number 35. Damon is excited to finally see a comic book hero who looks just like him come to life on the big screen. Being able to see someone that looks like you in such a, on such a big platform. Just representation does a lot. Damon studies video development for video games and movies at Just a Position Arts in North Minneapolis. For him, it's more than just a superhero movie. I'm really looking forward to some crazy, like, architectural design when it comes to Wakanda, you know, building design, you know, clothing design. We're a creative development shop here at Juxta. First Avenue, along with Minnesota-grown hip-hop group Rhyme Sayers, partnered with Icon Theaters in St. Louis Park to make sure 110 kids from Just the Arts get to see Black Panther. DeMond hopes those who are not familiar with the character are empowered by the movie. The adults that are helping him along his creative journey hope it provides much more than entertainment for a night. Inspiration, affirmation of who they are, and an affirmation of their ability to, again, be a creator and be a doer out in this world. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News.